Hey guys, welcome back to VXR. Today I'm going to show you a few great locations that you can build your camp in Fallout 76. Let me know what you think in the comments. Feedback is always appreciated. If you're new here, please subscribe and let's get into it. First location I'm going to show you today is in the Savage Divide. It's right next to Yellow Sandy Still. And it's not too far from the Central Mountain Lookout. This location does have water. It's perfect if you're looking to be left alone by other players. There are some areas on either side of the pond that you can place foundation and crops down. These shrubs and rocks will disappear when you place things down. As far as enemy spawns go, I've ran into a few mole rats and a couple scorched. Nothing too annoying though. You get a free bucket if you decide to come here. And you can place things down in this rock formation. It's a good location with water that's in the middle of nowhere and it's not on a lake or river. I haven't had my camp here since before the Wastelanders update, so when I ran into this guy that was new to me, he's looking for gold. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I'm not sure if you place your camp here if he'll disappear or not, but that would be pretty cool to have another NPC here along with your ally. The next location I'm going to show you today is one of my personal favorites, and it's really cool if you want to build on an already existing structure. It's close to Welch Station and not too far from Mount Blair Train Yard. This location is really unique. You get a cool cooking area here. You can build on this coffee shop if you'd like. And the reason why this is one of my favorite locations on the map is because if you build here, you get to hang out with a cat named Merkel. And you have your very own pet cat at your camp. I've seen some really cool camps built here before. Be interested to see what you guys can create here. There is no water here, but there are some flat areas that you can place foundation down or crops if you'd like. I can't tell you much about enemy spawns, but I'm just assuming it's mole rats and probably a few scorched here and there. Murgle mostly likes to hang out on this counter here or on the ground over there. I believe her food bowl is over here. Yep, it's right there. You also get a safe and a couple of junk items here on this table. Like I said, this location is really cool if you want to build on an already existing structure and get a pet cat. The third location I'm going to show you today is in the mire. It's right next to Big B's rest stop and not too far from Harper's Ferry. This location is really cool because you get to build underneath this bridge. You place your camp down on either side of the water. It will be a little tricky lining up foundations under here, but it's not too bad. I've had my camp here a few times. You have access to a lot of water as well as a couple flat areas on either side of the river and on the other side of the road that you can place crops down or anything you'd like. Since this is in the mire, the enemy spawns are going to be higher level, but as long as your camp is underneath the bridge, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I did run into two floaters when I got here. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, let me know what you think in the comments. I will have two videos out next week, so you can look forward to that. Have a great day, and stay healthy.